started off pretty pretty hot. Just what what were you feeling there in the the first half? And uh, I think you only maybe only got a couple of shots in the second half. Just kind of what was the difference between the two halves? Um, I say first half. You know, it came out hot. Uh, as y'all know, second half, you know, didn't go my way, obviously. But, you know, that happens sometimes, you know, just a scrimmage. But, um, yeah, first half, you know, I was in my element, you know. But second half, you know, kind of, you know, slipped a little bit. But I'll be better for sure. Uh, for for L, he had a, a solid sat line, 16 points, six assists, one turnover. Just how did it feel to, to get out there and run the show a little bit for the first time? And uh, just how do you evaluate your performance? Um, it felt really good just to get out there for my first time playing in front of fans, being in Arkansas. Like, that felt really good. And just be able to run a show like I feel like I was capable of. Like I, that's why I came to Arkansas. I want to be able to run the show so that I get my teammates involved. So I feel like I had a solid night. As a guy running the point, I know you only played with one of them tonight, but to have a couple shooters like those two guys there, how much does that help you do your job? Man, it helps me a lot because the floor is space. You know, um, guys can't sit in the paint and just when I get into the lane, just sit there and pack it in. So I'm glad just being around great shooters like them. Yeah, for Joe and Jeremiah, I guess I'll kind of flip that question around. What's it like playing with a guard that can almost get into the lane whenever he wants, spit it out to you guys for open looks? Uh, you know, it's, it's a really good feeling to have a guy who can just split the defense and then my guy crashes and, then, you know, he swings it out to me or Jeremiah's guy crashes and he swings it out to him. And, you, you know, you've seen today, you know, we can shoot it a little bit. So I feel like it's a good thing to have a point guard like him. Yeah, I'll piggyback on that. Also, like, being a shooter, you know, like, you would love to have a PG that knows how to facilitate and knows his players. You know, that's the great thing about being a shooter, you know, knowing who's around you and know who can get you the ball, so, yeah. I guess for, for, for Joe Spinell, I guess you guys shot, the red team shot 68.5. What what you think was the key to that? Was it bad defense on the white team, or was it Very bad defense. good offense, or what did you guys think of that? Um, I would say the white team was just a little tired, and that's when we matched the gas, and I just felt like we just shot the right ones. We shot the open ones. Um, we really got into the lane, and I feel like we really played together. Uh, you know, I'm with L on it, you know. Uh, we really just shot the right shots whenever we were, you know, our transition offense was pretty good. We were getting out, we were running, and I feel like that was the key, you know, the transition offense, just being able to make them, we ha we run, they have to run with us, and then we ultimately normally get a good shot out of it. Eric was saying today, you know, I know it's a it's an inter-squad scrimmage, you're not playing Duke yet or whatever, but um, was this a good break from just the everyday practice and and for you guys on the right, how good was it to win? But maybe each you could take it. Just how, how much fun was it to play in front of a crowd and do something a little bit different than practice? I feel like it was really good to be able to be in front of a crowd, you know, uh, compete against your teammates. Um, I feel like it was just really good for all of us to be able to just show, showcase our abilities, you know. Um, and I feel like it turned out really good. Oh, yeah, I'm the same way. I was ready. Yeah, tired of practice. Need a game to get into. Same, to be honest. L, just your first kind of meaningful action with Devontae in the backcourt playing together. What's it like, you know, playing with him on offensively and defensively? I mean, he really kind of turned the screws a little bit at times. And, uh, you know, what's the most impressive thing, you know, playing alongside of him in the backcourt? Really, he just keeps me on my heels. Because I know if he's defending like that, like, I got to. And when <clears throat> I need a break on the ball, like, I know that he's going to be there for me, you know, pick the ball up. And on offense, like if I need if I need him to run a point, like he he can run a point as well. So I just feel like that's a good tandem to have in the backcourt, and I just love playing with him. Uh, coach, co for any of y'all, coach was mentioning the other day that y'all have to get better at conditioning, and that'll come over time. Just how do y'all feel after four eight minute quarters, and how does your body feel just in the moment right now? So tired. <laughs> it's our first scrimmage, you know, going up and down. So. If you weren't tired out there, not playing you won't play hard. I don't know what you was yeah. doing, you know, but yeah, definitely, definitely being the first scrimmage, you're definitely going to be tired. You know, I I say that down the line, Yeah. you know, but, you know, as things get going, you know, a season start approaching, you know, practice start amping up a little bit, you know, we start getting more in shape, you know, first couple games, you know, you might see a couple of players, you know, not there yet, but, you know, games down the line, you know, like like in the NBA, you know, LeBron said it takes him about 10 games to get in shape. So <clears throat> I say like down the line, you know, eventually we will we'll, we'll, we'll all get in shape for sure. It's, if, you, if you're not tired the way we play, 
Uh, I don't know. There's only one person I know that wasn't tired tonight, and that was Devo. And yeah. Coach said he run on batteries. And yeah, like, he just <laughs> Devo. Was... And that boy was not tired at all. Like so, I still got to you playing on both sides of the ball. So yeah. if you want, all, especially those newcomers, I know too. He was tired. Like yeah. Joseph was even tired. He'd been here for a year, so it's different. Definitely. For Jeremiah and L, this team just looks like a mature team. Does that have a lot to do with just how much experience you guys have come in with, the other guys who have come into this this team with, how much basketball you guys have been able to play to gel quickly together and play mature basketball? Uh, yeah. You no. Know, what, how many, was the four of us mm -hmm. came in together? Um, and we all being old. So just knowing what we know coming from, you know, where we came from, you know, now we together, you know, and also along with the other guys being here that's older, you know, it's it's the game of basketball. You know, we're all gonna adapt to each other because we're here to do one thing, you know, win games and, you know, advance. So I feel like all of us, you know, coming together from different places and being older, I'm a fifth year, you know, spent four years in, you know, playing college basketball, you know, we we're all like it's kinda like a you know, we all know what we gotta do, you know, in a sense. So yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I would say, like, with us being older, like, we picked up on things a lot faster than other guys would, freshmen coming in. But the freshmen that we do have, I feel like they, they're along. They're like, they, they, they're going about themselves. They're very mature. Like, mm -hmm. so I just feel like we just got a really good mix of older guys, like, guys that's only been in college for a year. And I just feel like um, us older guys are doing a really good job of, you know, setting a standard, even the guys that aren't even that, – that's our first year being here, like, me and two. Like, I feel like we're setting a great standard. Quick question for you, Joseph. Just how have you felt your game has gotten better since the end of your freshman year to where you are right now going into your sophomore year? Uh, you know, I just feel like I've matured a lot being around, you know, the whole team's older. Like I'm probably I'm the third youngest or the third yeah, third youngest guy on the team so far. So, you know, I really had to mature, you know, these guys being older, just having to deal with their physicality and, you know, just how good they are, just having to do go against that every day, you know, it's automatically gonna make you a better player. Uh, speaking from a team standpoint, you guys are a month out from the start of the season. Um, anything you guys think you need to work on or um, you ready to bring it on? No, I mean, let's see, we, it's a lot of things we can work on, most definitely, as y'all saw. But definitely ready to go, you know, no matter what. <clears throat> That's the type of coach we're, we're coached by and the type of players we have, you know, no matter what. We're going to be ready to compete. You know, that's just the Arkansas way. But, um, yeah. I like that, Arkansas way. I like that, Arkansas way. <laughs> Joseph and, and Jeremiah, you guys picked up where you left off in the open practice on Thursday, trading those daggers. What, what's it like now? Because Arkansas has been kind of through a drought two years in a row coming into this one. What's it like to be knocking those down at that high clip? You got it. Um, you know, I've been doing this for four years, so it's I'm kind of used to it, not to, you know, be – cocky or anything but you know my work speaks for itself but like you know, this is regular to me to be honest that's what I built over time you know I put myself you know in game situations in my head to make me pre prepare for situations like like today or tonight but I say yeah I just it's just preparation for me just knowing what I can do uh, you know I feel like I've always been the only shooter that's been here at Arkansas I felt like but you know we bring in JD now I got some competition, you know. It's just competition make everything better. That's how that's how uh, that's how you win more games. It's competition, and you know him. He's really been pushing me, and I feel like I've been pushing him a little bit to be the best shooter that we can be. I was about to say, he's been pushing me for sure. <laughs> he's been pushing me just to knock down shots. You know, I'm seeing him knock down shots. So it was like, ah oh, man, now I gotta knock down shots. You know, it's after practice we're shooting together. You know, things of that nature. So definitely helping each other. Definitely. Y'all don't even shoot better than me. I ain't even worry about that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell the red bench I'm like that after you hit oh, one yeah. of your corner three? It was, they was, you know, they was talking. And it was like, you're not going to hit this. Scoreboard. As soon as I hit it. And look right at, I, I looked at, I looked at Trevor because he was the one who was talking. But yeah, definitely, definitely said that. What was the score? Chill, chill. <laughs> chill. Yeah, L, L for you, where do you feel like your greatest growth point is since you've gotten here? I mean, it, just from I was sitting right behind Eric, it seems like he's got a lot of trust built up in you already. Yeah, I would just say um, my vocal leadership, being able to really run a team, um, that was really the main reason why, like I've always said, like I came here. Um, 
and Coach Muslim, he's really installed that in me, like being a leader, you know, being vocal, trying to get guys in their spots, get guys shots. Because he knows I can score the ball, but like he knows I can really facilitate as well. So I feel like just being able to be in a position that I'm in and have that trust from him, like it really helps me a lot out there. Uh, for any of y'all, I think it was about some point during the third quarter, Coach stopped playing, came out there and talked to y'all. Just what was the message during that uh, little huddle? Uh, it was my team. Um, it was to, you know, we got to pick it up. Like, we was out there just doing what we weren't supposed to do. And, you know, he came out there being who he was and <laughs> let us have it for like two seconds. So. They ain't sprint back on defense. Yeah. We ain't sprint, you know, it was turning the ball over, had six turnovers. Yeah. Sound like me from last year. Yeah. <laughs> Def got to do better. Yeah, I guess it's for, for Joe Spinell. You guys, the red was down 11 early and ended up winning by 18. What, what, what was the key to that? And is there, I know you probably go at it every day, you know, scrimmage some, but is it good to have some bragging rights, you know? Yeah. I would say um, I would take ownership of us starting slow. I really wasn't getting us in our sets at first. Um, we were really just trying to get the film. We were just really just running up and down. But I feel like once we got that feeling, we started really running our sets. Like, we started executing our offense, and then we just picked it up on defense. So. But yeah, we do got that bragging rights too. So we yeah. beat them by 20. That's bragging rights. That's okay. Yeah, I'm the same way. You know, I felt like once we really got like adjusted to everything that was going on, I feel like it was it was easier to uh, go about things. And, you know, having Devo come in, obviously, you know, you bring a dog onto the court, it's gonna get a lot easier. So I just feel like Devo really makes the game a lot easier.